What's going on everyone? It's me, Alex the Rambler, and welcome back to The Great War Western Front. Now you saw me play this, uh, a demo of this, a little while ago, and the developers have got in touch and said, Alex, we'd like to sponsor a video on the channel. So this video is indeed sponsored uh, by Petroglyph and Frontier Foundry. Uh, so thank you very much to them for sponsoring the video. And if you decide that you have any interest in this game whatsoever, click on that link in the description and uh, check it out. Quick disclaimer that there has been an update to the Great War Western Front since the recording of this video. Uh, this was originally recorded on an old pre-launch build. And with that, into the video. But without further ado, please do comment, like and subscribe and let's jump in and show you all what this game's all about. So in addition to the campaign, you do also have uh, various historical battles that you can take part in. Um, one thing that I love and that I think all developers should do uh, is have a streamer mode. So uh, prevents all licensed music from playing. So fantastic. There's also, we've also got multiplayer skirmishes, but the real, the real content I think is going to be in the campaign. Um, so this, this is kind of a turn-based, you have a turn-based kind of strategic uh, map and then you have real-time battles. Uh, so in the demo, we were, I believe, only able to play as mostly the allied nations. So why don't we try and uh, try it as the central powers? Kablamo. So we start in December 1914. You could also just start in 1916, so there are a couple of start dates. Uh, so here we have, start the central powers campaign in 1914. National will is high and both sides believe this will be a quick and painless war. Doubt. So let's begin and see what this game has in store for us. So if you don't know, uh, just before I begin, uh, I've actually been a fan of Petroglyph since they released their first strategy title, Star Wars Empire at War, back in 2006. Um, so I've been playing their titles now for almost 20 years. So the fact that they developed a World War One strategy game, which just, they're not common at all, uh, is very exciting for me, at least. Okay, so the onset of war in August 1914 was viewed with, with confidence by the peoples of Europe. Few imagined how long or disastrous a great war could be, and most believed the war was a necessity to defend against the might of their oppressors. But by December, uh, it had begun to set in that the war wouldn't be over any time soon. Uh-oh. With the death of the Archduke, oh, no. Europe is propelled into chaos. Sacre bleu. The nations honouring treaties and alliances forged years before are now plunged into a conflict they cannot avoid, sparked by a single gunshot. Here on the Western Front, nations draw their battle lines. The central powers of Austria-Hungary and Germany now face the combined alliance of France, Britain, and their colonies. The Great War is about to begin. Oh. Lady Gehorsams, the Russian Second Army was by Tannenberg umfassend zurückgeschlagen, but their troops were faster mobilized than we had expected. Uh oh. And what is with our march through Belgium? Aus Belgien wird erheblicher Widerstand gemeldet und das britische Expeditionsheer ist nunmehr in den Konflikt eingetreten. Unsere Befähigung, die Westfront zu überrennen, wurde ein wenig eingeschränkt. Aber ich bin zuversichtlich, dass... Paris? Bei unserem Durchbruch an der Marne erleiden wir schwere Verluste. Unsere Befehlshaber vor Ort sind versprengt. Von Kluck hat sich mit seinem Armeeverband auf das Nordufer der Enn zurückgezogen und baut dort Stellungen aus, damit wir uns für einen Großangriff auf Frankreich sammeln können. Russland im Osten, Großbritannien und Frankreich im Westen. Alle graben sich ein. Wir müssen wachsam bleiben. Thus the Western Front was established. From the fields of Flanders to the borders of Switzerland, the great nations would make their stand. The fate of millions was now in the hands of a few. No pressure then. <laughs> so here we have it. German campaign 1914. Germany was surrounded on all sides by powerful enemies. Wars declared on Russia, but Germany pushed through Belgium to capture Paris in order to remove Russia's ally and keep the war to one front. This, however, triggered Britain's defensive alliance with Belgium. Unable to reach the sea to outflank Britain, Germany was forced to get, dig in. Uh, ow! Oh, and then we had a ceasefire on Christmas Day. How lovely. Um, but this act of compassion was never to be repeated. And here we have it. This is the front line that we'll be uh, trying to push. Um, 
So we need to try and demoralize France. So our, our, an army is only as strong as the will of its men. Defeat enough of them and not only do their replacements hesitate, but their potential replacements hesitate to sign up. So we need to try and defeat 10 French infantry companies in five turns. We also start off with some research points, which will allow you to kind of expand your tree and you can kind of pick what we can go for here. I'm probably going to go in ahead and uh, increase the soldier health by 25%. Um, I probably also... I'm not too focused on flight at the moment. Do I really want gas shells? No, not yet. Uh, I'm going to unlock the supply depot instead. And in terms of trenches, we're going to unlock Improved Firing Trench. There we go. So, what can we purchase? We can purchase National Supply. We also have Gold Reserves. Uh, and we also have Global Supply. Um, now, over here, we can kind of see... They've got three total core up here. We probably don't have as much. So, we have uh, quite a few German reinforcements here. We have neue Befehle. Um, and you can kind of select how many you want to move. So we currently have German conscripts. We have elite, elite corps and infantry corps. Um, so I'm not going to move any of the conscripts right now. I'll move these three. And I think we'll see. Where are they weak? Looks like they might be weak down in uh, Luenville. So I may try and push in the south. Although they have three stars. So we need to beat them in multiple battles in order to kind of move them. Uh, so Chateau Thierry might actually be a place for an attack at some stage. So that's reinforced here with many core. Uh, I think I'll just overall start moving reinforcements down to Metz. And then I'm also going to prepare an assault down uh, in Epinal. Because I think they have two total core. We only have one here. So I think in um, Perone, we're going to increase the supply cap for the region to 400. And I'm probably going to do the same at various points so we can actually get some supply depots across the front. So in Metz, we do have quite a large force already. But we, as you can see, they're locked, so they won't actually attack. Uh, I think it'll probably be the same in Revel. So we don't really have enough... To kind of push forward anywhere. In fact, oh yeah. The Brits have quite a number of forces here. Hmm. I'm going to let them attack me first and hopefully weaken themselves a little bit. Extra gold reserves and an extra research point. Okay, I think we'll actually start getting some research for intelligence now. And let's take a little across the line, see if we could probably do an assault anywhere before they get too entrenched. Ah, they've reinforced all the way down here. Yeah, I think on Epinal, though, we do outnumber them quite substantially. There's a blizzard. Okay, so uh, the British have done a blockade. Oh dear. And uh, we also have Open the Skies. We've used aircraft for civilian duties, but we've yet to truly apply them to the war. Okay. And we've got two German air wings. Lovely. Thank you very much. Whee! Okay, the animation's quite fun there. And over to Reffle we go. Mm, where do we do our first attack? So I'm just going to do region intel. So we can kind of see what's going on here. So we've got three turns of intel. Let's try a battle, shall we? A nice good old battle. I'm going to blast them. Okay, so, uh, yeah. It, the game starts off, as you can see. Clear maps, pretty much. And then you'll we'll be making our defences. Um, as you can see here, they do have a little network of trenches that they're kind of setting up for themselves. But overall, hopefully we can achieve victory here. And we have a starter line of trenches. 
So, we've got troop deployment, we've got the trench system, and we've also got supporting structures, such as uh, light field artillery, heavy field artillery, and an MG nest. Uh, for now, let's start building a little trenchy trench. Okay, couple of trenches there, then we can build a, uh, a little line system here, so they can go up to various points. They can travel between the trenches. And at this point, I think I'm going to also add an MG nest here. And you do want to defend your uh, um, main point here, obviously. So we control X, Y, and we also have the HQ. Whereas we need to try and capture A, B, or their HQ. For victory! Uh, so I'll see you once my defences are all kind of set up. Okay, so the filled heavy artillery, I think we'll get ready to use that. You can see the, uh, in, in the in the mini-map, you can see the, the range of our artillery boys here. Um, and you can see that I am starting to run out of supply. Uh, but I think I've got enough for another heavy artillery battery. I will get a couple more MG nests. And then let's start recruiting some troops. So they've vastly improved the deployment here since I played the demo. Let's get some elite German infantry, I think, in these trenches. Because they're going to be... Uh, <laughs> well, I'm going to be sending these guys over the top. The elites. And I think... Ah, we can get an OBS balloon. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. We can raise the balloons and see what they've got. That's going to lose up, use up most of my remaining supply, though. So now I don't have anything for the rest of the battle. Oopsie-daisy. That's okay, though. That's okay. We're, we're, we're building for the future. And battle. Okay. Raise the balloons. Ah. And then that's going to show us... All of their pitiful little band... Which I uh, may have to do some nice field artillery here. Let's do a precision barrage in both of these slots here. Not sure if that's enough to do a whole lot of damage to them. But just going to keep softening them up a little bit. Here we go. Blast them! So one thing I found in the demo last time uh, is that your troops would die super quick. So let's let's see if we can overwhelm their position though with the elite infantry. Oh, that's a lot of that is a lot of infantry all just packed in here with MG nests. Um, I might wait for a pres another precision barrage to try and take out one of the MG nests because this is a tight little defense they've got here. A little bit scary. Feuerwalze, Feuerwalze, Intensify forward firepower. I have a feeling I'm going to lose a lot of elite German infantry here. Jesus. May your assault go briskly. Go, 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 go. Flank, 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 flank. Go, 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 go. Into the trenches, men. Oh, we're losing a lot of troops. Oh. Oh. Well, um... That was a bit of a slaughter on my on my end there. Wow. Yeah, I'm just doing a ceasefire there. Um <laughs> Jeez Louise. Man, I need to change my strategy.
Oh, boy. Oh, that counted as a loss? Oh, no. Maybe I should have waited for my air recon. Yeah, that was not good. Maybe I'll attack with this one. Stalemate. Uh-oh. Can I attack again? No. Hmm. I'll see if I can auto-resolve that, but... It was a stalemate. Oh, no! It told me a minor victory. It lied to me. How could you? Oh, here in Epinal. Let's see. There's a terrain modifier. There's another blizzard going. We did have a minor victory there. Good, 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 good. Just have to keep biding our time for now. There we go. We got another minor victory. And we should get a major victory now that we've weakened them there. Hopefully. Major victory. Thank golly gosh. Uh-oh. Where are you moving your reinforcements down? No, 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 no. Not necessary. Not necessary. Ah, we've got rec recruitment in action. Thank the Lord. Um, we've got a new February. We're in February. Uh, yeah, so this time... Um, trying to think what I can do here. Long range explosives. Advanced MG training. I mean, I really need to focus on the push, right? First aid tents, I think, are going to be crucial. <laughs> Field hospital. Yeah, I think we do need one. Where do we have a large block of troops? Let's get a field hospital built up there. Okay, so what do we have here? We have conscripts and regular infantry. So we'll get the conscripts. Where are we? Where's our line pretty weak? I feel against the British, we only really need conscripts, right? Reinforcing Perone. So they have three total core. I have seven total core. So 3v7, major victory. Yes. A great victory. Oh my giddly goo. Okay. That's better than I expected there. Good. Uh, we have two new unread events. We've got Death from Below. Ah, yes. Germany warns that all merchant ships, regardless of their national orange, will be defeated by its 20 U-boats. Then we also have an information bulletin. Okay. Most of our resources are in the form of money. Mm hmm. Convert gold reserves to require 400 supply. Okay. Jobs are good. Where am I feeling I'm a little weak for my final core? I think maybe Perone. Ah, this is what I was hoping for. Yes, a defensive battle. Good. Come at me. So we're going up against five total core in Chateau Thierry. And we're defending Lyon. All right. So I'm going to build up a load of defenses. I only have 450 supply. Hmm. Not great. So I'm going to have to be quite careful about how I do this. So our trenches are up here to begin with. Got a couple more trenches. Yeah. Yeah, more trenches up here. Okay. Well, I think we do need one artillery battery. I think would be prudent. So I'm not going to upgrade many of the trench lines uh, to begin with. My aim here is to hold as well as I can with the rather limited defences I'm going to have. Lots of MG nests. Oh, and any more troops I can get my hands on. But I'm feeling nervous. I'm feeling nervous. But let's begin. My home policy, I wage war. My foreign policy. I wage war. All the time I wage war. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Calm down, mate. You're French. Ah, we've got an extra 115 supply. So we can bring in reinforcements if we need. But uh, in hindsight, I should have spent my supply, I think, on up, uh, building more trenches. But I've made my bed. 
Our supply is severely depleted. I know, young one. I know. But our trenches... Oh, are not maxed out. Get in there, fellas. In go the little beans. Run, my pretties. For the Kaiser. Here we go. So as soon as I see any French coming towards our positions, I'm going to be unleashing he... Wait. Run! Oh my god. Run! <laughs> oh my god, fire. Fire. Intensify. Forward firepower. I think I may be getting overrun here. Oh boy. Oh my god. They're taking my point. No, no, no. No, 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 no. That's not happening. Well, it appears that uh, they are indeed um, taking my trenches. Note to self, get bigger trench lines in the future. There we go. I've defeated the ten French companies. And we've held our positions, I think, almost. Well, I've completed my objective, so I'm going to surrender. Uh, I think I'm going to get everyone to withdraw. We're withdrawing from battle. Get out of there. We did a lot of damage. But we're taking too many casualties. Damn. I'm not as... I'm not as... Uh, oh, no. I'm not as good at this as I thought I was. It... <laughs> oh. Although I think I'm doing a good job of role-playing 1914, really. Just probing and changing different things. There we go. Nice. Hmm. They're attacking again. Okay, I'll engage another battle. Right. I, I imagine this is going to result in uh, quite a bad loss for me here. You can see, though, um, it's not. E I'm not expected to win here. <laughs> I imagine they'll probably open with an artillery barrage somewhere. It's like I'm a mind reader. Luckily, these are the uh, double deep trenches I've dug. So, please keep firing. Oh, I should send reinforcements. We've got two layers of trenches for them to get through. Yeah, these bigger trenches are a lot better than the terrible two, two, two cost trenches, at least. But this is pretty horrifying. Well, we survived the first wave. Oh, crap. Ah, oh, be gone, French! Be gone! Oh, I can't handle many more attacks like this. I'm firing right. Where, uh, uh, go on. This is going to be like the final stand of the Germans here. Ah, shazer. More artillery! Oh, crap. Are they elites firing? I am severely running out of troops here. I think it's over. Yeah. I feel like we held pretty bravely. But it's not enough, really, is it? Yeah, you win. You win, allies. You win. You win. Damn. I will have one successful frickin' battle in this video. I promise you. I'm gonna keep going until I win a battle. 
I have to say, though, the developers have made vast improvements to this since I uh, played the demo or like an earlier or like a preview version uh, a couple of months ago. Um, they, they've really done a lot between then and, and now. Uh, it feels a lot nicer than it, than it did before. Again? I think I'm just going to auto-resolve because I... Yeah, they're going to force me back there. Spies everywhere. Oh, gosh. Barbed wire? Yeah. Anything to stop them from doing anything else at the moment. Jeez Louise. Like, I'm struggling. This is harder than I thought it was going to be. Um, but it's a fun challenge. Okay, so we have German Infantry Corps and Conscripts to go up against two corps. And then I'll have a I'll be able to follow that up with another three. Major victory we're gonna have here, apparently. Well, they have so many troops down in this uh on this flank now. I feel like I'm on really uh the defense at the moment. Balls. Oh, minor victory. Ah good. Finally. Let's fight this. Let's engage in the battle and see if I don't mess this one up. Okay, this time I have a lot of money to spend and barbed wire. Disappointed of how much it costs. I feel like 10 is a quite expensive for barbed wire, but what do I know? Might as well get a balloon as well. I... So we have the money. I'll have a light field artillery, I think, to go with it. But I do want two filled pieces of heavy artillery this time. We're not going to go down without a fight. More machine gun nests. And then I guess some troop deployments. I don't want to use the conscripts. Okay, I've got 113 supply left. Okay, well, we've set up as best we can. I'm really hoping I can hold here. Like, I should be able to. Raise the balloons. I've got enough money for lots of artillery barrages. So suppression and regular pounding. I very much doubt this house is going to survive. Oh, just leaving little cars. Okay, that's very cute. I wonder when they're going to go over the top. Where are you off to, you little scamps? There we go. Just start pounding them before they can even do anything. Oh, here we go. The attacks begin. Now, you will die. And we've got barbed wire, at last. A little nervous. I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous. Fire quickly. Will they get through the barbed wire? Slowly, they're slowly getting through the barbed wire. Not good, not good, not good. Don't like that, don't like that, don't like that. Reinforce, please. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, this is brutal. Absolutely brutal. Okay, so we kept our initial positions. Um... Belgians are charging at us slowly. And the French too, once again. Oh god! Fire, please. Oh, the barbed wire is doing the Lord's work. We are holding. Um, but this whole area has taken an absolute pounding. They haven't even attempted to try and breach this area. I'm going to try and attack through the fields as they're continually attacking here. Oh, there's a machine gun nest, is there? Cheeky. Jeez. Stop. Stop the pounding. Stop the pounding. Oh my god. This is so intense. Oh my god. Just the scale of these battles. 
Ugh. I am down to 75 supply, which isn't great. Please keep shooting. I am completely out of supply now. So if I lose these trenches, that's it. They've managed to overrun my position again. They... Ha! Ha! I... Just how many... How much supply do, the, do, do they have? I think this might be the final wave. At least I bloody hope it is. Because I, I don't know how I'm meant to keep holding. Do I have any more... Any more troops? Oh my god. This is so tense. I wish I had an artillery battery left. Well, I'm completely out of troops. Uh, I'm completely out of supply. So... I don't know what happens now. They have more troops coming in. I don't know how. But it's over again. Uh, and then there's more. I... I need us to know what supply they have. Yeah. I feel like... It said I... Hmm. The thing is, though, that's not... How... They had 400 more supply than myself. <sighs> We are cash poor. We are losing ground. Um, oh, they tried an uh, amphibious assault in Gallipoli and that didn't work very well. Very good. Defeat three heavy artillery. Oh my god. Purchasing more national supply. So we have the opportunity to, I think, try and counterattack at Morhange. They have six total core. I can assemble ten. Stalemate. What do I have to do to win? <laughs> oh. Or I could go after Nancy. A great victory. All right. Let's see if I can take out one French core or allied core. If I can't, I don't know what to do with that. But I've lost every battle I fought on the campaign map so far. Da. The heck is this? This is an interesting map. Hmm. Because I'm going to go for B. So I'll use X as like a, defen a little defensive point. This is where we're going to launch our assaults from. So I'll have a couple of pieces of heavy field artillery, I think. Maybe. Yeah. Ah, feck it. I'm going to have a couple more pieces of artillery too. I'm going to launch an attack on A at the same time as B. But we have the supply. We have the means. We have the power. Fear me, for I for we are legion, and we're essentially. Uh, I could even try and do an encirclement of their forces that have pushed forward like that. Yeah, it was all part of the plan, actually. This is all part of the plan. I'm going to pound B with an inch of its life, and I might as well expand the trenches a little bit for the future in case we have to defend this position. Just for the future. Okay. I think I'm pretty happy with this sort of defense. I'm holding on to some supply for when we actually need to do some artillery barrages. And I will not lose this one. I am determined. I am determined to win. Let's do it. Let's defeat the Allies, sir. Raise the balloon!
Hmm. Let's start the bombing. I'm going to take out the MG nest before I try and uh, run forward. I'm okay taking my time a little bit. I have no idea what they're doing. But if they want to try and run at my position, they're, they're welcome to. Uh, we have 600 supply. I'm very confused by this French unit. And then we're going to wait till re reload. I am doing a creeping barrage. Well, not even a creeping barrage. I'm just trying to make sure they're absolutely wrecked. Oh, hello. Goodbye. He's in our position. Well, that's okay. No problem. There we are. Just start bombing them again. There we go. Take out their little... Damn! We were one shot away. Oh! Lovely stuff. <laughs> I feel like I was trying to be way too aggressive before. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I presume that they were trying to take the point here. Um, sneaky, sneaky. Fire. Fire? Jesus, wet. <laughs> I can't believe this. <sighs> I am not losing out of some... Weird French unit that decided to go around my uh, <laughs> defensive line. All right. Well, the French are screwed. Heavy artillery still firing. Let's target the next MG nest. And we've protected our HQ. But we have four units defending the capital now. So I think we're good. Okey dokey. So we're taking some artillery fire, but overall I'm going to hug the trenches here and see if we can hold against any French counterattack. Now I've managed to just blast them out of their position with just pure artillery rage. Oh. And they're just... Dying? Yeah, they're not going to do so hot. Huzzah! Alright. Um, this will be a quick over the top. And down. Go on. Shit. That was a terrible attempt there. Wow. Uh, okay. I mean, luckily I can just send in more. And we'll do. We'll try that again. I don't care how many thousands die, as long as I, ow, 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 ow. How are they directing this artillery fire? Ow. Hmm. Go. Go on. As soon as you reveal the rest of the map, I'm going to blow it to smithereens. Where are they even getting shot from? I, I, I'm just baffled at this sometimes. Come on! Telling me the oh. oh my god. Oh 
Go, go, go. Once more into the trench. These MG nests, have they upgraded them? I think they must have. Well, I have to say, this game is more of a challenge than I was expecting. I thought I'd be able to just sweep through and uh, capture all the points that I needed and whatnot. But no, this is a really painful, painful, challenging game. And I love it. The fact that I'm losing continuously just makes me want to play this more and adapt my strategies to hopefully be successful. Um, because at the moment, like, I'm struggling. This is a, this is, this is a playthrough that I thought I'd be able to secure. No problemo. There we go. MG nests finished. Charge. I'm going to use the last several minutes I have in this to just charge everything I have at, at their last position. We'll just go around their machine guns this time. <laughs> I ain't waiting around. We are going. Just keep sending wave after wave. Human wave offensive. World War One. Let's go, baby. Die. At last. There we go. Oh, it took me almost 20 minutes, but we finally have taken all French positions. I am the champ allied positions, I should say. Allied. Uh, yeah. Oh, at last. I wonder what they're doing. They're dying, that's what they're doing. Oh, look at that. And then we slowly capture their final point. Jobs are good. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, at last. Cool. Did you know? Oh, they never. St you must pay to replenish them with gold reserves. I don't have gold reserves anymore. Oh. There we go. Man, like the Central Powers campaign is not easy at all. And we're bankrupt. Oh. We'll support the plan. Support the plan. So, there is a lot to manage here, and this is my kind of first playthrough of the main kind of campaign. Uh, so apologies if you're thinking like, oh my gosh, he's terrible. Um, the game is quite difficult, even on standard difficulty. So if you are going to start a playthrough of this, I would definitely encourage you to go through the tutorial. Um, but I've, I have played that before. So I was trying this on soldier difficulty, which is standard. Um, and you could always go up to Elite, which I- oh my giddly goo. Uh, but overall, like, I'm going to be playing this a fair amount. And you're going to probably see me play this on stream a lot. This is one of those games where I want to complete a campaign. So I'm probably going to start an actual campaign over on my Twitch channel. Uh, but if this seems like an experience for you, and honestly, if, you, if you've been- if you've been craving a World War One strategy game, this is it. Like, it, it's developed by a uh, an experienced RTS team. The, the amount of polish that they've added to this in the past couple of months has been great. And overall, I, I'm loving my time. And the challenge it's offering me, uh, it feels like I'm playing Hearts of Iron from the beginning all over again, you know? Uh, so if you did enjoy this video, please do comment, like, and subscribe. If you're interested in the game, please do click on that link in the description. Uh, it will help out the channel a lot. Thank you once again to Petroglyph and Frontier for uh, sponsoring this video. And I'll be back with more very soon. But for now, ta-da! 
Many thanks to the Patreon cult leaders, Amazon fulfillment strategist Dr. Fotzka and Jack Troku, and many thanks to the Patreon champions Chancellor64, Hegu Jiggly Crotch, Kim Eric Carlson, Logan Whaley, Rick Baller, Vash, Wyatt Green, Zachariah Mosby, and Maximilian Foreman, and many thanks to all the other patrons too. You really do help keep the channel going. Thank you.